Hi guys, Rich Bassine from RJBassine.com coming to you today. Just do a little brief intro on um, some military stuff I have. Uh, it's only two items, by the way. I just wanted to talk a little about it before you know I put it up on eBay. Um, for those who are listening, uh, that came across the listing on eBay, um, I just want to talk a little about what I got going on here. I picked up two of these items here. Um, one is the, uh, a summer dress. Um, khaki uh, uniform you know just the top just the shirt itself um, I understand it's my understanding that uh, in the summertime this is what they issued uh, how I know that my brother was in the service he was uh, in the military he was in during the Vietnam War and uh, this is what they gave me in the summertime to wear this is not my brother's stuff I'm showing you by the way um, this is stuff I picked up at a, a local thrift store and uh, I just want to talk a little about it as you can see, it has the, uh, I think these, they call these the E2, uh, let me see here. Um, my brother can tell me what they are, are these patches on here. Uh, these are E2 stripes over here uh, for this army khaki shirt. Uh, it does have some minor little flaws in it. Now, over here, it looks like it has a little pull. That's why I'm doing a video, folks, too, because what I forget in the description, in the written description, I'll have it on the videotape. Um, it has, like, little pulls. Here. Now, I don't know if they put emblems here. But it looks like, to me, it looks like, well, maybe you're not, but this has a little pull here, a little over here, one over here. Um, it has something over here, okay. It's got all its buttons, all intact, very thick material, okay. I don't, again, it looks like it's got two little marks over here. I don't know if that's from people putting campaign ribbons on or badges. I'm not really sure. Or if they just pulls. Uh, but the way they're spaced and the way on the top level, I would say maybe some kind of pinning was on there. Um... It has all those buttons again. Like I said, it's, it's pretty thick material. Your work condition is, is pretty decent considering. Uh, if this is from the Vietnam era, which my, my brother says it probably is, uh, it has like a little pull here. You know, I, it's my understanding too. Uh, I don't think my brother mentioned it, but there are people that buy these things, and I understand they wear them just as like leisure clothes, like you know, like the old Navy stuff. Like sometimes the old Navy, you might see like they come up with the khaki pants, or they come out with that. Um, what do you call camouflage? They come out the camouflage because I think Old Navy sells a lot of that stuff. Uh, but this is a genuine. This is this is the real deal here. Uh, what I'm showing you here. Again, it does have like little minor flaws on it. Uh, I did wash both of these, by the way. These were both washed, air dried. I did not throw these in the dryer because I don't know if it's a shrinking type of material. Uh, I don't see anything here that has cleaning instructions on it. The only thing that's over here, folks, that I'm telling you is the. Uh, it has over here medium. Okay, and it says something 16, but it says over here medium. So when I put this in, when I list this up here, uh, it's going to be listed as a medium shirt. Okay, now it's to my understanding, I could be wrong, but when this was there, there was a bunch of other army stuff there too. Um, it could have been from the same retired soldier or whatever. Uh, I came across this, this jacket here. It's a combat jacket. Now, this was washed. And the label that's in here has kind of faded, but this was medium. This was a me this is a medium. It says medium on it. This is, the label did say medium on it. Okay. Again, I know you can't see it, folks. You can't see. You probably saying, "What good is it?" But it, like I said, I didn't wash it with bleach or anything. But I did wash the clothes on both of these here. I let them both air dry. But it does have the um, this thing here, which kind of tells you what it is. Okay. And again, this is the real deal here, okay? It's a coat combat woodland camouflage pattern or whatever, and that's what it's all about. Um, so this here was washed, and it's the the badges here, the insignia is on here. Now the badges are not in great shape, folks. These are little things. Like this guy here, uh, I had to look it up. This, this, I had to look these badges up, folks, by the way. These badges here, you see here, uh, this guy was a first sergeant, okay? He was a first sergeant. And the badges are you can see weathered, freighted. Again, if this was around since the Vietnam era, like in the late 70s, late 60s, 70s, uh, you would probably expect that to happen with it. Why would it be like that? I don't know. This is how I bought it. Um, it wasn't because I threw it in the washing machine. The washing machine did that because I did it on a gentle cycle with the mild uh, laundry detergent to clean it up. Um, it was clean, but I like to give it the once over. So when you guys get it, if you are going to wear it, uh, at least you know it's been cleaned. And now this here was not dried, it was air dried, but it was washed. Okay. Um, it has another patch over here. I was, I'm not too familiar with the military. I didn't, my, my brother and me were going over this. I didn't realize how much stuff the military has. But this one says baptized by fire. 
okay? I've never seen a patch like that. And it's got one on the, uh, this one here, my brother told me we looked it up, and this patch on the left sleeve here, it says 40 seconds, it stands for the 42nd Infantry Division. Um, that's what I believe. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. I don't know what the, but that's, that's what it is. Now, again, this badge here has some frayed marks on it. A little piece of wear here. Got some frayed mark over here. So just keep that in mind. I know sometimes people buy these bad, uh, these jackets, military stuff, because they want the patches on them. And, uh, they want them in pretty much prim condition. Um. Uh, the overall jacket itself, I mean, it's not missing any buttons from here. From what I can see, everything's all intact. It's a clean, it's a cl pretty clean jacket. I mean, I might, this is a medium. This would probably fit me, but I don't wear military stuff. Um, I don't have nothing against it. I just don't wear it. Uh, I didn't serve it. I didn't serve in the service. So, I mean, you know, I wouldn't, I would, to me, I wouldn't, you know, wear something like this here. But it's, it's a nice jacket. Uh, I don't know if there are people out there that collect these. They, I believe they do. I think they do collect military stuff. But this is the real deal, folks. Um, looking at the jacket itself, it's pretty clean. There's really no rips on it that I could see. Uh, maybe we might get a little uh, little thread here and there. It might just have to be cut off and stuff like that. But um, that's basically it. Everything seems pretty much intact. There's no buttons missing here from what I see. Everything's intact here. Okay. Uh, my brother said this could be, this guy could have served in the reserves. I don't know if there's a way he could tell by, but he said it might. He, this guy might have served in the Army Reserves. I don't know. I, not like I said, I didn't serve in that era. That, you know, that, I wasn't in the service. I don't know too much about the military as far as that part goes. How would you decipher it? I know uh, the badges they have different colors from. I think in the 70s, he was telling me that uh, when he was issued his back in the 70s, they came out with the uh, gold. Like the badge has a gold in it. I think later on, in the late 70s, early 80s, I think this came like subdued. It came like a, a dark. They came, the patches came dark then. I guess they came like that. Uh, like that color here. I guess like that. They came dark. I think the patches came dark like that. They weren't that gold, like that yellow in there. Um, it just has on here, the guy took his, I guess his name plate, whatever his name was off on here, probably un unstitched or whatever. I don't know how that is, but he still had the U.S. Army on here. So, uh, the, the overall, like I said, the overall condition of this jacket, pretty good, pretty clean. Um, I don't know, again, if, if people buy these here, they collect them, you know, like in other words, they, they, uh, they like military stuff, they hold on to them. I don't know, but, or are they going to buy them to wear it? Um, it is a nice jacket, considering, if it is from that era, late 70s, maybe early, uh, late 70s, um, yeah, late 70s, I would say, I don't know, but that's what we got going on. And again, this jacket was washed, and uh, there was no fabric so often to put on it. Something that was washed in a mild, gentle cycle. So when you get it, it's clean. And that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you, you want to get back to me on anything, you know, be, please contact me through the eBay messaging system. I'd be more than happy to uh, answer any questions I can. The only thing, like I said, my brother told me on that there, on the Army khaki shirt, that's an E2 stripe. The little badge there. Uh, it's the first sergeant. Uh, that's an EH stripe, I think, whatever they call that. And uh, it's a Woodland Cameo BD, BDU jacket, medium regular, because that's what we wrote down. Because before it got washed, he was able to look at the label. He said, this is a medium regular. And the patch on the left sleeve, just to go over it again, uh, according to what we looked it up, it's a 42nd Infantry Division patch. Okay. So that's basically what I can tell you. Um, be on the lookout. I'm going to be putting it up on eBay right after I do this video and uh, I was gonna I'm selling them separate I'm not selling them as a pair I, I figured let me do let me just do it together I'll dump this video on the eBay listing this way you guys could look at it you know listen to what I have to say about it and you make a decision from there I don't know a price point but I'm gonna start it it's probably gonna be an auction price uh, I don't know if it's gonna I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do fixed so it's probably gonna they're both gonna probably be auctioned on it so just keep that in mind um, but what I what I told you here is what I'm going to put in the description for each one. Again, the Army khaki shirt does have like little little conditions with it. it has a little condition wear on it, little pulls here and there. Um, like I said again, it, it's a nice. It's still got good material. It's very thick. Um, I tried steaming both of them out. I have a hand steamer, so I tried steaming both of them out. And uh, very thick material uh, on both of them, but there's somewhat more of the khaki. Uh, I kept trying to steam it out over and over again. I had that steam jet right there. Have a pretty, you know, the steam jet's like yay big. 
and I had it like right on the clothes and I was running my hand down to it. I don't want to use an iron on them because I'm not good at ironing. I'm not saying I would burn it, but I like steaming. Uh, when I ste steam clothes, excuse me, <clears throat> I use the uh, steamer. <clears throat> but anyway, folks, um, I'm losing my voice talking. <laughs> um, I will be putting it on eBay soon, so keep a look out for it, and um, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I'm losing my voice over here talking about this stuff. Okay, uh, that's basically it. Uh, if you got any questions, please email me. I uh, not me email a message. And uh, if you like what I do with these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, basically, that's all I have to say right now. Um, be on the lookout for it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye now.